I'm meteorologist Eric Hayden with the National Weather Service in Binghamton, New York. Wild weather over the past 12 hours, temperatures near 70 degrees Saturday afternoon. Then we saw snow last night, really ranged wildly across our area. Not a lot in the city of Syracuse, a couple of inches for most of us, real wet snow clinging to everything. And then some of us saw more than five inches of snow overnight. That colder weather continues to build in today, very, very windy for all of us and then lake effect snows developing. This is our winter weather briefing. We're gonna talk about where the heaviest snow will fall, how much snow will fall, and the timing for that. One of the main impacts for everybody today will be the wind. Wind gusts between 40 and 50 miles per hour right through evening will be likely, and that will blow the snow around, and this will become more likely with each passing hour. As we get colder, the snow will become drier, and that makes it easier to blow around. Across New York State, and some of the heavier snow squalls will have reduced visibility because of the snowfall rate, and that combination of gusty winds and very, very heavy snowfall rates will produce near whiteout conditions at times. We don't expect widespread power outages today, but anytime you get winds over 40 miles per hour, especially for a sustained period. I can't rule out some isolated issues, especially right through evening. As far as snowfall goes, this is a map from 2 a.m. Uh, this morning through 7 o'clock, so long duration. This is not including some of the snow that fell yesterday evening. Places like Binghamton, Elmira, and Wilkes-Barre, you, you may say, hey, we've already had that much snow, but again, we're not including what fell yesterday evening. The highest amount still near Syracuse, uh, west of Utica down through Cortland, generally 12 to 18 inches of snow. But notice some of the red shading, those hills near perhaps Tully, Casanova, uh, then up toward northwest Oneida County toward the Tug Hill Plateau. You folks stand the best chance to see uh, perhaps as much as 20 inches of snowfall. Again, this is spread out uh, from today right into Monday evening. So some significant snows farther to the south, a couple of inches down toward Elmira, uh, three or four Binghamton, an inch or two in Wilkes-Barre. It doesn't sound like a lot, but temperatures will fall below freezing uh, today in many areas and certainly tonight. So anything wet outside this morning will begin to ice up later today. And again, when you factor in that wind, uh, certainly a nasty day for some of us, especially across New York State. Don't forget about our website, weather.gov forward slash BGM. Lots of good information on here. If you scroll down the page, you can get this briefing in a PDF form. So if you don't want to wait for the whole video, you just want to click on weather hazard briefing and then click on the book icon and the PDF will come open. So you don't have to worry about waiting for the video. The other thing I want to show you on the website, again, if you scroll to the bottom of the screen or on your mobile device, scroll toward the bottom and click on winter weather. On that page, you'll see a lot of good information, including our snowfall map. So if you want to take a closer look at the map, see what's happening where you live, certainly check out our website when you get a chance.